Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Revit Paramount GTX suit. GTX stands for Gore-Tex, and what you're gonna see is old Smiley Pants McHugh modeling the new Paramount Gore-Tex suit. This is a over your actual everyday wear riding suit. So if Pat were to unzip, which we're not gonna have him do because it'll just distract from the important things in this video, which is the information, um, you would see that he is wearing all of his clothes underneath his outfit. He's certainly not nude. Uh, this is gonna come in around the $1,500 price point, And this is going to be really a unique item in Revit's uh, lineup where they're taking all the technology of Gore-Tex and CE level protection and they're baking it into a riding suit that you can wear over top of your gear. Now, this is something that we have seen most famously done from Aerostitch. They're really the ones that kind of designed this type of a suit. But when you look at something like the Revit, really what they're trying to do is, is create something maybe a little bit more stylish um, and also addressing some of the protection and uh, impact protection technology that they've spent so much time curating into their regular line of gear. So. Let's start off by talking about who is using this. This is really someone that is either looking for an easy way to just throw an outfit of protection for their motorcycle over top of their existing clothes. They can ride back and forth to the office, or it's also for someone that really is looking for something that they can use in a touring uh, range. Maybe it's just a Sunday ride. You want to have something you can throw over your clothes Maybe you want to go for a seven-day sport touring ride. Um, there is a lot of versatility with you with you looking at something like the Paramount, but really the thing that sets it apart is the back and forth to office commuter. That's who is most likely looking at this over something like a standalone pair of riding pants and jacket. Sizing, Mr. McHugh on my left-hand side stands at a commanding six feet tall, weighs in at 215 pounds, measures his chest at 44 inches. He's currently wearing a large. Now, one of the notes here is that at six foot with Pat's longer torso, he is on the verge of what would be comfortable for a large. Revit does have short and tall options. If you're longer in the torso or if you need that extra length, the tall option gives you a little bit of extra room in the torso as well as extra length at the cuff and at the bottom of the, of the, of the pants. So the sleeves and the, the legs itself. There's also a short version and you can check all the measurements against the size chart, but using the size chart, Pat is spot on in a large. Now, from a construction standpoint, uh, sizes small up to a 3XL. One of the, the minor notes here is that this is the only color currently available. I won't call that a nitpick, but you do have to like navy blue and black. So from a construction standpoint, it's going to have a shell that is comprised of three layer pro Gore-Tex. It's a 400D nylon material for the main construction. And you're gonna have CE level two armor throughout. Now, for the shoulders, the elbows, and the knees, it's gonna have the CE level two uh, C-Flex armor. Very comfortable, very breathable. Works very nicely to keep you safe as well as comfortable. You're gonna have CE level two C-Soft Air back protection. That's a new back protector which breathes more, but you're getting CE level two back protection included. A CE level one C-Smart hip armor. It is adjustable and it is gonna be rated CE double A for abrasion resistance. For 1500 bucks, it would have been nice to see CE AAA. However, that's more of a European thing. I think if you're going to crash in this on the street, it's going to do just fine to keep you safe. And I think one of the issues that I have when you start getting up into the really crazy abrasion resistant materials, it gets kind of bulky. Considering you're already wearing this over top of your existing clothes, I don't think I would want this any bulkier than it already is. Um, the note there too, is that this really is just that Gore-Tex abrasion resistant shell. As far as temperature goes, you are gonna have to figure out what mid layers and base layers you are wearing underneath your clothes to make sure that you stay warm. Starting at the top, working our way down. The collar on this, we were talking earlier and Pat goes, I hate these collars, these are stupid. I agree, um, I think this is absolutely maximum protection if you are worried about water creeping down underneath. It is removable, however. So if you are somebody that doesn't want that extra layer of being able to tuck your collar up underneath your helmet, this does come off. As you're working your way down the shoulders, pops reflective with the Revit logo, you are gonna get a vent at the outside of the bicep to allow air through. This is a direct vent past the Gore-Tex liner. Would have been nice to see a bicep adjuster there, but we are getting an adjuster at the forearm and then just Velcro at the cuff. Working your way down the front, dual chest vents. 
You are gonna have the fid lock, which holds this back and into place. That's gonna allow for venting. 3D mesh with the vent at the chest. Pat, you wanna open up the other side as well. Look how easy it is. He can do it with two hands, folks. He is he's really impressing us here today. The mesh is a raised mesh to help promote that airflow swirling through. When you do have it closed, there's liners, there's Velcro to make sure that no water is pushing up and through past this rubberized raised liner here. So you really do get the best of both worlds. You get direct venting past the Gore-Tex shell, and then once you zip that closed, it really does a great job of not allowing water to push through. The one note here is there are minimal pockets on the outside. Correct me if I'm wrong by nodding, Pat, but it's really just the one pocket on the right-hand side. There is gonna be an extra pocket on the inside, one small pocket on the left side, but. I think it would have been nice to see at least one extra pocket on the outside just for having extra room to carry your stuff. But then again, maybe that is in the pockets of the pants you're wearing on the inside. Again, we're not gonna have Pat open up because I don't trust that this sneaky SOB isn't naked under there. He's quite the pervert, folks. All right, as we work <laughs> All right. Like we said earlier, you are going to see level two knee protection. The zipper goes all the way, the main zipper goes all the way down the chest, the belly, and then the inside of the left thigh. You can get the left side on over top of your boots. There's no issues there. That is a full zip. There's then a separate zip that goes up inside the right thigh. The one issue, Pat and I were talking about this, if you are wearing bulkier boots, it's really hard to get the right leg into the pants without taking the boots off first. So just keep that in mind. I would say that depending on the size of boots that you're wearing, you're probably not gonna be able to get that on over top of the boot. You are gonna have vents at the thigh. Pat, you wanna just open up the left-hand side one there? It's over down here. I'll do it for you here. Let me get your thighs there, buddy. And then again, the fit lock up at the top, just to show you how that opens up. Same technology that we saw at the chest fence as well. Very easy to open. The fit lock is kind of like a little magnet almost, uh, and it just holds it into place. You wanna go ahead and strike the riding position for me? Just taking a look down the profile, you are gonna have gussets at the back of the arms. Would like to see maybe just a little bit of extra room in the gusset for future iterations. If you're in more of a full tuck sport touring position, you might run out of a little bit of room there and feel it kind of pulling. But for the most part, no real issues as we work our way down. You can see you do have an adjuster strap at the waist to kind of fine tune the fitment and then just kind of clean lines. One of the things that I really like about this suit compared to some of the other options that are out there in the market for oversuits um, is that it's just, it's very svelte fitting. It looks more form fitting than some of the other bulkier options that are out there. So I think Revit did a really nice job from a style perspective. Velcro on the outside of the leg so you can fine tune the fit over your boots. And then there is also an adjuster down there at the calf. Go ahead and face backwards for everybody. Pop a reflective with the Revit logo at the top. You're also getting the big hang tag so you can hang the suit on a hook in your garage or your closet. CE level two back protector included in this, um, and then just elastication at the yoke. You're also gonna see, when you're looking at this from the inside, for the seat on the pants, there is just a little extra padding on the seat um, to kind of help give you some grip as well as some, some cushioning in the seat. Sir, you can go ahead and face forward for me. Uh, joking aside, if you just wanna unzip just down to the waist, ladies and gentlemen, eyes up, up top, just taking a look at the top on this, this is where your little extra pocket is gonna be over on the inside. You can see, luckily for all of us, Pat is wearing clothes underneath. All right, so really, there's a couple little things that we'd like to see iterative changes on, but one of the things that I think, you know, Revit really kind of knocked out of the park is they brought an oversuit to market that is more stylish than some of the competition out there while still giving you all the features that you're looking for from a protection standpoint in an oversuit, again, coming in around that $1,500 mark. So if you want more information on this or you wanna hear what other riders have to say about its performance out in the road, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device and you can read other rider reviews. You can read all the detailed specs on the product. And if you're still not sure as to which option is right for you and your daily commute or your long haul tour, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the different options available to make sure that you find the right gear for your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this first look at the Revit Paramount GTX suit. I'm Spurge. This is Pat. Enjoy the ride.